Since I have a lot of new followers, a lot of people have been wondering about my arranged marriage story, so I'm going to share it with you guys now. I got a full ride scholarship to Liberty University, which is a Baptist university in Lynchburg, Virginia. And when I got there, I decided the best thing I could do for God was to give my life to him and become a pastor and a missionary. I got my degree in biblical studies. And, uh, but my family and I attended an Assemblies of God church, uh, where you have prophets and healers and speaking in tongues and holy laughter and all of that. So I had just started dating a guy my end of my junior year in college, and he was also Assemblies of God. So one night I was praying and I told God that this was not the man I, for me, like I needed a confirmation. So the next day I went to church and this prophet who I've never met, who was visiting from Texas, came up in front of the whole church and said that the man that I was praying about was the man God wanted me to marry to consider this as my confirmation from God. And I was blown away and pissed. <laughs> and I told my sister and I was crying and I was like, but I don't feel like it's going to work, him and I. And, but my family was all there and all the pastors and stuff. And they were just so excited that God had given me a word. Therefore, I had to follow this word from a man from Texas that I had never met before. So we did not kiss until we were engaged. We didn't have sex until we were married. And all of that was a big mistake in my mind. Uh, he and I pretty much were business partners through the 20 years of our marriage um, we did have children, but we just really weren't compatible in so many ways. And we do have an amicable, uh, friendship now and we're divorced and he's remarried and we work hard to be co-parents, good co-parents to our kids. But the night before my wedding, my sister came to me and was like, we can go, we can run. You don't have to do this. And I said, how, how do I hide from God? I was very convinced that this is what I had to do and this, I was just going to be a martyr and this is what I had to do for God. But I have since learned to listen to the God inside of me and not the God inside of someone else. I hope you do the same.